How you doing guys? Going to change the oil on a 2000 Avalon. Going to walk you through how to do it. First you go inside the car and you pop up the hood. Which is already did. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. All right, then you take this. Sorry, this is the transmission. This is oil right here. Just pull the stick out and open this up. So that way, when you open the drain from the bottom, the oil could flow better. You could look it up on your owner's manual for what kind of oil you're using and what is the capacity of it. This one is 5W30. You can see it in the cab of it. Okay, I got the 5W30 synthetic high mileage. You can use it up to 7,500. I got the oil filter, I got some napkin. I got a wrench to open the oil filter and I got a jack to raise the cut up. Make sure your cut is in level service when you do that. So you could measure the oil after you change it that you have the right amount. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and jack the car up. We look under the car. Jack the car up from right there. Okay, I left the car up now. Everything is set. You're gonna need this definitely. This is the drain pan for the oil. And you're gonna need a size 14 socket. Size 14 socket, you can open up the gas, the oil the oil drain you do this you slide this under there before you get under the car make sure you have a jack to hold the car up for you jack right here Okay guys, I got the jack under the car. I'm gonna slowly take it down. Okay. And I'm gonna have the jack to support this. The jack and this, double safety. And now we're gonna go ahead and open the drain plug for the oil. Drain plug is right there. Right here, the drain plug. This one right here is the transmission plug. Drain transmission plug. Don't open this up. Gotta go here. When you're looking at the car from the front, it's gonna be in the left side. This is the oil pan right here. We're gonna open up the oil. Tight. It's not real tight. That's how you like it to see it. Okay.
this is the oil plug right here this oil plug the drain the gasket still in the pan make sure you take it off with a little screwdriver or anything uh, we're gonna let the car we're gonna let the oil drain you know a couple of minutes then we'll come right back all right guys now the oil is drained we're gonna put this right here this is the the oil drain plug with the gasket i've used i used the same gasket that was in there i took it out cleaned it out and take it i'm gonna take it back in there i usually like to use my wood two to three times it won't hurt it never have any oil problems but it's up to you you can use it one time you can use it two three whatever you like uh, I mean, you can see the condition of it and you know your car um all right now we're gonna go ahead and put it in and we're gonna just tie it up to be snug you know the i think the honest man you says 34 pound but i usually do it snug it up never had a problem all right you can see the oil drain real good you don't see no more oil just a tiny tiny drop so what i'm gonna do is gonna, i'm gonna wipe wipe it off wipe this off right here get the drain plug wipe it off one more time get the drain plug and go ahead and water in here guys and you just take your 14 millimeter socket and you just snug it all right good to go you won't have no problem Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take the oil filter out. All right. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take the filter out. You could snug it through here. Just take it out this way. This way, mine's not too tight because I always hand tight it. I don't, I don't snug it too much. So what I do, make sure you have the oil pan under there, so the oil, because the oil is going to drip into the bottom of it. Alright, you just take it out like this. Make sure you have some towels or a napkin right next to it, that's what I had. I usually use the Toyota filter, but since I was so busy today, I went to Arizona and got another filter. That's the filter, guys. It's the oil filter. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this out. You can see they're the same filter. It's different brand. I'm gonna take this out. Then you put some oil in here. Put a little bit of oil. Don't fill it up because you know it's gonna go in this way. So you're gonna drain the oil out. Just make sure you put in just a tiny bit so that way it's not dry 100 percent Be right back. Right. This card hold five quart. Toyota around 2000 hold five quarts of oil with the filter. So we just open this up. Put oil just in here, just a little bit.
get some napkin. Uh, should have went inside, but okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and put put the oil in there. So I said, sneak it up through here. Okay guys, just make sure it's hand tight. If you want to tie more than that, you can. But I don't usually do that. Because I'm not going to have a hard time to take it out. You know, and they shouldn't be so, so, so tight. Make sure you have to dry it. You know, hands dry it. <laughs> take the oil filter. 25, I believe, 25 foot pound. But I feel good. It feels good right now. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna fill it up with oil and we should be good to go. Okay, now we're gonna put the oil in. Do it. Put it in there little by little so that way you know make sure you don't pour a lot because if you do that it's gonna overflow this stuff everything is good now all you gotta do is turn the car and check your oil level. Make sure it's good. Uh, take the jack stand. I already took the jack stand. It's right there. Took it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the take down the jack, and we you should be ready to go. Thank you guys. Have a good one.